Today in the crypto space, we see a bit of sideways price action throughout the market. Bitcoin right around that $72,000 mark. Ethereum right around $4,000. Yes, it's down 2%. But the question is, are we going to get a bounce here for Ethereum to lead the way to the altcoin season? The rest of the crypto space here is a mix of green and red as well. However, however, there are some good opportunities. AVAX definitely up 15%. Doge coming down to slightly lower levels. And you can see there are definitely some good gainers near protocol injective and a few dips. Pep is coming down just a bit. Floki as well. Some of these meme coins are taking a bit of a break. In today's video, I want to talk about the general market. I want to use Bitcoin as a leading indicator. But more importantly, I want to talk about Ethereum, guys. Ethereum, again, is the indicator that we're looking for for an altcoin season. And the question is, is it going to push to the upside? So you know what? Let's talk about the news. Let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike and let's get right into it guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome on the channel. We talk about cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities. Whether we go up or down, bearish or bullish, it doesn't matter. All we want to do is stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on any of the volatility. And if you appreciate the strategy, subscribe to the channel, click that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos, including the live streams at 730 Eastern, where we talk about crypto news and price action. Guys, if you have any projects, you want me to cover here on the channel feel free to let me know in the comment section below you can hit me up on the socials the links are in the description and of course guys join the discord the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material the best part is is absolutely free all right guys let's begin let's see what's going on here with this market bitcoin look a little bit you know dipish today you know of course a lot of emotions the cpi data came out a bit hot you know inflation is still here of course and we expect you know some of these metrics to be coming out and cause a bit of volatility but however a lot of these dips that happened today are already bought up look at bnb holding strong we have even ethereum although it is slightly rolling over guys it's still within structure we got to understand big picture here we're still making higher highs and higher lows i know the momentum a lot of people are talking about the rsi guys I really, really do value what the RSI does give you as far as a momentum oscillator, giving you that indication. But we also have to understand that price action is king. Momentum can be showing you divergence, but it could be invalidated. And I, until I see structure that shows us that we are going to roll over and potentially start changing the character of the current structure, guys, there's no real reason to get absolutely bearish here. Now, I'm not saying that we shouldn't get defensive. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be taking a bit of profit off the top, especially especially if you have some really good gainers. I'm not saying that we shouldn't even trail up a stop loss to ensure that we have a benchmark or a fail safe just in case we do roll over, you walk away profitable. All of those are great strategies in, in, in this type of market conditions to become defensive on your gains, protect those gains at all costs. But Bitcoin at the current moment is still grinding to the upside until we get an indication that we are rolling over. I still feel that it is safe to say that we should be looking for bottom dweller altcoins. Now, I'm not saying to buy tops, don't FOMO in, but a good risk to reward ratio opportunities, we could definitely start getting into some of these altcoins. So if altcoin season does come around, that is when you're going to benefit from, from buying bottoms. Okay, guys, so we're going to be continuing that journey, trying to find those bottom dwellers. Guys, join me live tonight at 730 Eastern, where we scrape through charts and find these opportunities live. And of course, if you have any projects you want me to cover, that is a great time and place to make those requests. And I do put them in top priority. All right, guys, let's begin. Let's see what's going on here. BNB is grinding doing its thing solana holding steady still slightly you know making those higher highs very slight ones but still looking okay uh we have xrp got a nice pump and now it's on a retracement do we get a continuation to the upside possible avax today is the man of the match it finally woke up with some good strength to the upside 56 dollars and 50 cents up approximately 19 percent for the day guys uh, you know of course there's bearish days there's bullish days but on bearish days if we see all coins running bullish guys it's obviously it's going against the grain it means that it's taking its turn regardless of market conditions very powerful and a lot of sign a good sign of strength here for the avax ecosystem you know um, get into a lot of the projects built on avax 
AVAX is making a big move into the gaming narrative, so you know, keep that in mind. We also have Trader Joe, the official or the main decks for AVAX, which is an interesting, um, you know, play here. If you're going to get into the DeFi space, start looking for you know, ecosystem projects that support AVAX at its core. So, looking pretty good. Polkadot, I'm expecting a breakout one day, you know, it could happen any moment, guys. It is at resistance, and we're expecting Polkadot to finally make a move. We're seeing a lot of the layer ones, you know, holding strong. AVAX is holding strong, Cardano's going sideways still still within structure so we can't you know be totally bearish here some of the dog coins are taking a bit of a dip but nothing major again these dog coins are up hundreds of percent so to expect a bit of a dip on red days is there's nothing to be afraid of here guys just be careful and again have that plan for for defending your gains and you should be fine near protocol that trend is your friend and i made sure i said that yesterday trend right now is very important right don't think that the trend is going to end until you get those indicators near protocol Protocol is still grinding to the upside. It's up 77% in seven days, 14 of which is just for today. Looking pretty good here. Litecoin taking a bit of a pullback. I'm never a big fan of Litecoin, but still okay. Uh, nice big run up and then a bit of a retracement. It, that's the name of the game here, guys. So um, Injective, also a nice powerhouse today, 21%. So if, there, if you think there aren't any opportunities, guys, there are. The only thing is that we're getting used to those double-digit gains. We're, we're used to those double-digit green days we got to chill out once in a while and expect that if we don't get that and if at best we go sideways that is still good guys the market needs a break right we're midweek pretty much going into the middle of the week you know we could be picking up in, in a couple of days maybe leading into the weekend sometimes we get good volatility thursday friday type of thing sometimes we even get it over the weekend right we get the retailers in pumping and dumping and doing their thing but at the end of the day guys right now is not a time to get absolutely bearish it's time to get defensive um and i can't stress this out anymore keep your positions intact but have a plan to exit as you see weakness right now there's no sign of weakness uh, optimism doing okay at least going sideways kind of get, making those slightly lower lows as soon as we see ethereum get a bounce to the upside i'm expecting optimism to get a bounce and all of the ethereum based projects at the current moment majority of ecosystem projects are not looking the greatest okay so we're gonna have to keep that in mind arbitrum optimism polygon matic and many others that are part of the ethereum network network could definitely start rolling over as ethereum shows a bit of weakness in the short term and of course today we'll talk about ethereum we'll look at bitcoin we'll come up with a bit of a plan and i'll kind of show you exactly what i think we should be doing at the current moment um let's continue going down tia celestia looking for another move to the upside perhaps after a strong impulsive you know run to the upside a bit of consolidation and continuation fine so be it guys i'm not going to be jumping on this train the way it is if we don't get a deep retracement in the next little while guys i might miss out on tia no problem at all because i definitely have my bags packed in other projects that are super super bullish um like floki for example floki has been doing really really good up 130 30 percent and that's part of the uh, meme coin narrative here guys get you don't get used to those gains okay guys make sure that you take profits off the top because a lot of these dip do, do dip down eventually um and again back to the arbitrum the lido the ethereum based projects taking a bit of a dip it's all good guys all good algorand waking up seven and a half percent it's beginning you know it does start look it does look like a beginning to the upside for algorand given that it's been a bottom dweller it's been very very quiet not much hype around it and then all of a sudden we start looking at it in seven days it's up 24 percent and if we include maybe prior price action it's probably up a little bit more so this is what we have to understand a lot of them a lot of these projects are not going to get the hype and they're not going to get the parabolic run they will get a slow grind to the upside and in fact i prefer those why because we have a lot of support below to act as support when it does a lot of price action right there no volume gaps no weak spots none of that so algorand slow and steady i kind of appreciate it bit by bit i'm bullish phantom going sideways after a beautiful breakout and run to the upside so be it um say another project that i would love to have a position in but i'm going to be very careful here buying these tops i'm going to be waiting for retracements if we get them same with sui i'm waiting for retracement um we have quant doing its thing at about 130 guys what a performance for quant really 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 um honestly i expected a lot more from quant but it did nothing pretty much um you know at 130 
$30, hesitating at a $100 mark for so, so long. Missed out on the majority of the gains here in this market. Quant better start waking up and catching up to the rest of the market or else Quant is dead to me. I'm done with Quant if it doesn't start waking up. Let's move on. D, uh, DYDX is doing okay. Uh, kind of going sideways. I have some good hopes for that one. Uh, Mina Protocol got a nice run and you can see the rest of the market is pretty much the same. Sideways, 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 slow grinding to the upside. No sign of major weakness as we speak. Guys, make sure that you zoom out. Okay, make sure that you zoom out. Look at the big picture. Start off on the weekly, then go down to the daily, then go down to the um, four hour. That's it. After that, you're going to have a lot of volatility that could potentially make you bearish in the short term. And yes, we could get a bit of a dip, but understand that if you're going to be trading the shorter term time frames, you have to expect that you're going to see volatility and that volatility could you know, it basically invoke some emotions and you want to be no emotions at all in this market. All right, guys, I know you're here to talk about charts. Let's begin. Let's begin looking at Bitcoin and then we'll jump onto the Ethereum chart. Right now, we can see that Bitcoin is still in price discovery. Nothing really has changed and I get it. I'm looking at the weekly. The weekly is not showing us any divergence whatsoever. We're looking good and I'm going to do exactly what I told you earlier. We're going to start off the weekly we're going to go down to the daily we're going to go to uh, down to the four hour and then we're going to do the same thing for ethereum and uh, finally we're going to conclude what should we be doing here in this market let's kind of continue here we can see that we're in price discovery no real major indication of weakness at the current moment so that means that we shouldn't be aggressively exiting positions you know i like 10 percent 10 percent off the top after every impulsive move is a decent recipe i've been using that for years 10 percent and and couple it up with a trailing stop loss a triggered stop loss below at certain critical levels now when we look at bitcoin right now i know my chart's a bit of mess i'm going to try to keep it neat for you guys but ultimately if you look at the critical levels here on bitcoin where are your horizontal support zones the next one is at about forty thousand dollars guys we could come down to that level we could use this diagonal trend sure that's very possible we could probably make this a little neater let's try to you know do one of these and you can see that the diagonal trend yes we do i got a bit of support at about 53 maybe we come down touch this level and get another bounce to the upside for all we know we could come down to about twenty five thousand dollars for that matter and we could still make a higher low here and be super bullish and buy the dip all in this area guys this is what i anticipate i anticipate a correction i'm not expecting green green every single day um we have to get a couple of days of red once in a while right that's the way the market works it needs liquidity to run so we're going to hunt for that liquidity and the first level to hunt is about fifty three thousand dollars more or less right into this zone right here this horizontal you can see that there's a bit of supply and demand to suggest that we could get a bit of a reaction here a bit of an indent on the volume profile we got a few indents a few areas that i'm expecting liquidity hunts but nonetheless we're still early okay so nothing to be said macd is looking good rsi is looking good the price action is still moving up the train is still moving and let's get on to the daily the daily at the end of the day is beginning a potential sign of bearish divergence okay let's understand what that means the rsi is making higher highs let's let's mark out the price action and let's zoom in a little bit so we can ignore the noise below and we can kind of expand this so we can analyze what's happening in this short term this price action right here very very clearly we are still moving upwards very very clearly okay and we can kind of make this loose for now because you know the precision is not that important we can kind of see that from this level to this level we are respecting the price action the trend is moving upwards very very nicely alongside the price the price at after this high continues going up while the momentum decides to take a bit of a break and then we got rejected off of the um moving average the yellow line not the greatest look to be honest not the greatest look however guys it could be invalidated we could still make another drive to the upside and stay within the bearish divergence. We've seen this multiple times in this market where the RSI gets um, a bearish divergence, but the price action goes for another drive to the upside. So what we have to understand is that maybe we're a little bit too early here to start thinking really bearish, either shorting or taking significant amount of profit. You know, you want to make sure that your positions are intact if, just in case we start going to the upside. Now, let me preface this with the idea is that Bitcoin at the current moment, in my opinion, is super, super frothy. And I do believe that the opportunity still exists in the altcoin market, not so much in the Bitcoin market or even Ethereum for that matter. Ethereum could still get a 
another move to the upside, but it's already top heavy. The reality is a lot of these altcoins have yet to move. So when I'm referring to Bitcoin's price action as not looking weak, I am still seeing opportunities in the altcoin market because of that. All coins need to catch up eventually to Bitcoin's price and Ethereum's price and Ethereum is still struggling to keep up and catch up to Bitcoin. So we still have a bit more, um, you know, potential cycles to kind of go through here and rotations of capital from large cap to mid cap to small cap and micro cap. So what I'm saying here is ultimately Bitcoin is still OK. We could eventually get into some distribution phase, a head and shoulders formation, a inverse cup and handle and uh, an M pattern, something like that after we get a few data points and a few suggestions that we've got a bit of a resistance zone that's when i will start to look into taking more and more profits off the table and de-risking on my leverage positions and de-risking on my altcoin positions right that's going to be the idea here because altcoins are a lot more volatile but at this current moment on the daily i would like to see a little bit more data so what kind of data am i looking for now i'm going to kind of draw this out and be very hypothetical we are still making making higher highs right here this low is an important low this low right here is going to confirm a change of structure we could definitely start coming down break down to this level and then start making a lower low right we start breaking below this low we make a lower low and it's not looking good now all of a sudden this is not the time to short we definitely got an impulsive move to the upside now we most likely are going to start looking for a back test we're going to start looking for a bounce off of this diagonal a bounce off of some sort of support levels whether it be this high whether it be this price action itself a volume gap whatever it is we'll get oversold on lower time frames and then what we'll be looking for is a dead cat bounce which i look for because at the end of the day that is the confirmation high the lower high we come back up and get a lower high all of a sudden we have two indications of a potential change of character here we got a lower low potentially and we got potentially a um, um uh, a lower high a lower highs and lower lows the trend is your friend it's likely that this starts to look like a pivot point now if you look at this it starts to look like an inverse cup and handle if that happens, as long as the, this this that cap bounce is not too deep, uh, we could call it a cup and handle. Even if it is, and we come all the way up here, it could be a double top, an M pattern. M patterns with bearish divergence are not good signs. So I still feel that instead of trying to catch the top in short and trying to catch the top and exit positions, I still feel like it's time to just kind of hang back and wait for some data. Now, at the same time, there's nothing wrong with taking profits off the top on all your positions, but Bitcoin right now, in my opinion, is super super frothy okay so let's zoom out a little bit more and let's get on to the four hour the four hour as you can see price action a bit of whipsaw price action straight up straight down getting people wrecked that's what the market tends to want to do for hunting liquidity and you can see that as we're grinding to the upside that class a bearish divergence is still here on the four hour now just bear in mind that if you're going to be using for the four hour for ta you also have to understand that we could get a bounce on the four hour for this TA, which means that the dip could be very shallow. It could come down to this level and then continue to the upside. We could come down to the 200 EMA on the four hour and then get a continuation to the upside. Look at what happened here. We broke above, bounced off the four hour and started moving. The likelihood is, is that we continue this trend to the upside until we break trend. There's no sign of break of trend. There's no sign of change of character. There's no sign of bearishness just yet. That's that's why I'm saying be careful with getting aggressive here with your bearish thesis because there's nothing really here just yet other than bearish divergence on the RSI, which has been proven not to be the most successful uh, indicator to be uh, to use on its own. You need confluence with other uh, indications. There is no other. OK, let's move on, guys. Let's take a look at Ethereum and we'll start off on the weekly as well, just to kind of paint a big picture. And then really same concept here, guys. We're getting these lightsabers in the sky running to higher levels it's not in price discovery so i could assume that ethereum might want to follow bitcoin's lead you know the the etf um you know rumor is still lingering that ethereum could be you know be looking for that etf and then we could potentially get another catalyst to the upside and then the question is are uh, is all the um you know the the heavyweights the suits are all are, are they getting in at this level did they already get in at these bottoms it's possible it's possible that they already in okay so this is speculation but if you look at the weekly, no signs of bearishness just yet, guys. We got to be real with this. You know, I'm not going to be a permable. I'm. I am not like that. The, the reality is, is that we have to be real with what's happening here. The price action is still moving. 
you know um we broke out of a nice ascending wedge we broke beautifully out of it this is pretty much called for i knew i, I had a gut feeling that we were going to break out of this with some conviction given the fact that bitcoin was already running so we got a good indication that this thing was going to do well now it did do well now it's time to stop and expect some sort of consolidation now if we use this theory overbought conditions on the rsi overbought basically the macd is really really high up there extending emas green histogram bars everything is super bullish what about if we do get a bit of resistance here at the four thousand dollar level and get a retracement now retracements at this stage in my opinion you shouldn't expect them to be 886 retracements what i mean is deep deep retracements now let's use the fibonacci for a second because i'm going to be getting more specific with ethereum because ethereum at the end of the day is going to give us that indication if the altcoins are going to start to run and when we should start getting into altcoins even heavier or focusing even more if you are on the sidelines waiting to deploy a bit more capital so let's use fibonacci uh fib retracement we could use this swing low Let's do that for now. And you can see if from that, this low right here, we're looking at a golden pocket at best. If we can come down to about $3,000, that's probably all you're going to get. But the reality is in a raging bull run, a 0.38 is enough. Now, a 0.38 retracement is enough to consider it a bull flag. We can consolidate right into this area. Now, just bear in mind, um, while we're talking about the ethereum potential dip if it's going to happen ethereum coming down 25 to 30 percent equal to the 0.38 fibonacci retracement on ethereum on bitcoin will bring down ethereum a lot more okay altcoins have this relationship that when bitcoin dips altcoins dip harder the only difference is with ethereum is that ethereum is a larger cap altcoin and it's probably not going to dip as hard as a micro cap if you get what i mean so what we really have to understand is if bitcoin comes down even for a breather within the 0.38 and the 236 right around right here in these fibonacci levels um ethereum might come down to the golden pocket but if bitcoin just kind of goes down for to the uh, the 0.236 ethereum might just come down to the 0.38 more or less let's say that would be the case and that we consolidate for a bull flag right in the zone we could get that continuation to the upside on ethereum and get into price discovery the same way bitcoin did right so this is what history has shown eventually ethereum does catch up to bitcoin it doesn't happen happen all in one go because right now it does look like it um, but it, we could expect a few dips along the way those peaks and valleys now if we do come down for a 0.38 a 0.26 whatever it is 0.236 fibonacci retracement which is classified as a healthy breather we could expect that the altcoins will also come down for a bit of a breather and they will be a lot more of a breather they'll come down a bit more giving us an opportunity to scale in now is there any sign of weakness here on the weekly absolutely not not just yet okay so this is what we have to understand so let's stop talking bearish at the current moment because we're just talking hypothetical if it were to happen now if we go on to the daily hypothetically speaking you know do we retrace here there's not even any bearish divergence just yet not even on the rsi the rsi is still trekking up it's still doing its thing while the price action is moving here on the on the daily there's not bitcoin has divergence ethereum doesn't and if we come down to the four hour real quick we can see yes there's a bit of divergence higher highs on the price action let's zoom in just a little bit more and you can see that the rsi from about this point is slowly trending to the downside which means that the momentum is falling over time the macd as we speak the emas are facing down with red histogram bars but if we zoom in and see exactly what has been happening in this area you can see that the ethereum um, um, momentum in the trend the trend strength to the, the bullish trend strength has been steady and grinding upwards even though it does look sideways it's slowly going upwards and upwards in the bullish control zone guys this is not the time to get absolutely bearish now it is also not the time to get absolutely bullish because look at the levels that we're at here with with uh, ethereum back to the daily you can see that we're really up here okay guys so expect pullbacks along the way and ultimately this is what i would be doing because there's no bottoms around these levels guys take a bit of profit if you're in ethereum right now if you're in bitcoin and you have a, a, a trading position you have a trading portfolio i'm not talking about your long-term hodl position your trading portfolio take a bit of profit off the top even if it's 10 percent as we build confirmations for a potential bearish scenario where we start rolling over with an m pattern with bearish divergence cup and handles inverse cup and handles and all that stuff then we take another 10 percent and bit by bit you start exiting your positions with a bit of confidence and then we trail up a stop loss we trail it up at three thousand dollars let's say if you bought the bottoms here on the channel we bought nice and early our entries were at about fifteen hundred 
and as low as at about 1200 this is when i was scaling into ethereum and then all of a sudden we're all the way up here so what we really want to do is protect those gains and the only way we're going to do that is trail up the stop loss and act as a safety net just in case it does roll over but we can also reduce our position size by taking profit 10 percent at a time that way when it does fall you'll notice that your dips won't hurt you as much but then you'll have cash on the side to redeploy if we do get a retracement however guys don't exit your entire positions because we don't know what ethereum is going to be doing in the next little while we even don't know what bitcoin is going to be doing in the next little while and for that matter we are all waiting for an altcoin season guys if i've offered you any value in this video do the channel a solid by slapping the like button it does really help out with the algorithm of course i'm going to be live tonight at 7 30 eastern talking about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects you want me to cover that is a great time and place to make those requests and i'll put them in top priority join the discord the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material and it's absolutely free take care guys have a good one and don't forget buy the dip